ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm never from Nev's Tech. Once again, I'm never from Nev's Tech Pits. My daughter just did my nails all half done, and today we're going to be doing a review of Battleship Live. The game tower guides your play. That's right, released in 2011, I believe. A lot of people have some issues with this. It doesn't work for them quite as well as uh, they would like. But you got to be real careful. You got to put everything together perfectly. And this is like, you have to put everything together perfectly. And you have to set it up in a very particular way. So, yeah, super complicated. I watched this get played, and man, there's a lot going on. Unfortunately, it looks like our batteries have leaked, so I gotta clean that out before I can see if I can even uh, get this stuff going. If you have to clean this stuff out, of course, uh, what we prefer to use around here is baking soda, vinegar, and Q-tips. All right, we got a red eye of death. Prepare to go live in three, two, one. So you have to do this in a very Welcome specific to way. Before you turn it on. Something is wrong with the board. Please make sure the board is put together correctly. I'm going to pause the game now so you can check the board. Start again. Just hit the power button. You have to make sure you do this right, just by the way the instructions work, or this won't work. A lot of people say they uh, can't get this thing to work, so let's see if we can. Man, I gotta say, there's definitely a trick with setting this thing up, and it's not like your typical battleship i'm not used to having electronics yelling at me as i'm working but this is this is how you have to set it up you can have to boat it like that oh, i don't know what the heck you call that come on ah oh, it's not working now that i'm on camera darn it three two one welcome to battleship live captains main your stations something is wrong with the board please make sure the board is put together correctly I'm going to pause the game now so you can check the board. Well done. Let's continue. If you played Battleship Live before and want to skip the training exercise, either captain can cover both confirm buttons now. So did I pick... <laughs> so did the I pick... The goal of the game is to sink the entire enemy fleet. You're On supposed your to press these. A number of commands. Training cancelled. Now we need to place our ships. We'll go from smallest to largest. Red captain, place your PT boat on any space in the start row. All right, so I got to say one thing that's super interesting about this is uh, put your stuff down, you cover the confirmed, and it'll continue. Captain, place your submarine on any free space in the start row. I do, cover the confirm buttons. I do not have enough pieces for this, but something in here is going to be looking out here. There's going to be like an infrared type thing. I believe maybe it's looking for the reflections of these or no reflections if you completely cover them up. But there is an eye in there ultimately that's watching Blue everything Captain, we're doing down here. On any free space in the start row. Unfortunately, the I don't have all the pieces. I only have one submarine. So I'm only going to be able to get so far with this. So let's see if it can tell if I put the wrong thing down. Blue Captain. You need to place your submarine on any free space in the green start row. Oh, Cover man. the confirm buttons when you are done. It knew it wasn't, uh... Blue Captain, you need to place your submarine on any free space in the green start row. It knew it Cover wasn't a submarine. when you are done. Blue Captain, you need to place your submarine on any free okay, space in the Okay, it's just not seeing anything, so... Cover the confirm buttons when you are done. So, I think it's about uh, as much as the tech I'm really worried about right now. Other than this, you should be able to see this thing too, as it goes around with a reflection to figure out what's going on. But really, what I want to get to now is a teardown of this bad Blue boy. Captain, you need to place your submarine on any free space in the green start row. I want to know how this thing knows where everything Blue is. Captain. You need to place your hey, captain. You need to place your submarine on any free space in the green. Look at that live. It looks like the, the uh, Xbox Live. Pausing. Looks like the Xbox Live uh, text, eh? Anyways, let's get into her. All right, folks. So I got the screws out of the bottom, three off the bottom, and six off the back. And she's just ready to come right off. Oh wow! Pull this thing right off. Nope, I forgot a screw. <laughs> Anyhow. So, yeah, we have an LED. 
just a lot of housing over here housing housing and then we got a motherboard over here looks like where everything pops into that'll be for i'm gonna rip out where the power was and the other power yeah it's gonna be the other side of the power and then these are for the lights or at least one was the light and this is the other light so yeah that's the main motherboard interesting isn't that interesting okay so what i'm really interested in is what's up here but let's take a look down here geez we got a camera eye that's interesting actually let me uh move the camera so i can get a good background on that there's a camera right in here let me see if i can yeah there we go man that's interesting so that camera is going to be looking right up into there and i wonder if there's going to be a reflection in here one sec all right, so we got four screws around the bottom here. I'm gonna take those off and see uh, what this is looking at. Oh wow, I didn't even realize it until just now, but there's one, two, oh sorry, one, two. Geez, autofocus, come on, what you doing to me? There's four deep screws in there. I guard it here, and I'm gonna take those out. All right, so. Finally got, oh, come on, I took all the screws out. Why aren't you coming off? Why are you not coming out? There we go. There it is, that's the camera that this unit was using. I wanna know exactly what it was looking at. All right, so I've gone over it, and this just seems to be one big housing. There's no way that I can uh, take this apart nicely. So I'm gonna have to give it some percussive maintenance. All right, I was right. That's what was at the top. So the whole unit, so the whole unit is watching the board. The whole unit is watching the board via this camera that is getting a reflection at the top of the board. Still don't know exactly how it knows when you press the buttons the command to, to, to stop. Maybe it's just that it's no longer getting light from that. But anyways, that's all it is. A camera and a mirror. Interesting stuff. That's it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Nef Nef Tech. That's like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. It's always appreciated. This YouTube channel's here so that uh, I can try to float a stay-at-home wife with my uh, with my two little kids. So if you could help me out, it would be muchly appreciated. Have a good one, folks. And take care of each other. Catch you later.